hey everybody it is time for my completed pages of the month I have no idea how many pages I've done over 20 um, I, I had a very good colouring month but not such a good reading month because I was colouring more than reading and that happens sometimes I read more than I colour however what I'm going to say is um, these are not in any order normally I put them into order of pictures patterns colour by numbers and then the 10 books to finish I'm not bothered doing that this time okay it's literally just what I've got so as you can see I've got this stack I'm gonna move them out of the way okay so the new Jade Summer book cute and sweet I did do a picture in I'm waiting for them to put out another new book but they've hopefully gone back to the biggest and I just did the rainbow cake so that was on the 4th of June. I try and number them every month, uh, date them every month, and I always forget about halfway through the month. Now, I've used the very light colours on the top from the Oh Hoo Hoo um, pastels. Um, they, these are the bright colours from Crelando, I believe. And on the top, I don't think you can see it sparkling, I've got a layer of clear uh, Wink Costello, which just makes it look more like icing than if it was just left blank and it is a very very light grey but yeah that was so simple and easy to do it was nice I haven't done a handle in for a long time so this month I did one in Enchanted Faces and it is this way around so I'm gonna open it this way if I can find it where is it here it is I pulled this book out a couple months ago because I wanted to colour in it and I did this one now this is literally various markers, so the background C is done with an Arteza turquoise. These are mostly the Crelando brights in her hair. We've got um, a Hoo Hoo pastel here. That's skin, skin white from touch markers and so on. But I really enjoyed doing it, it was really nice to do a Hannah Lynn again, it's been a long long time since I've done one. So I'm really happy that I did it and now I know I want to colour more Hannah Lynn again. So that's that's all good. It's all good. So. And then we did one and I did one in 50 Gorgeous Patterns Colour by Number by Sachin Such Diva and this took forever because I did it English gel pen because there's only like five colours on here and I could get away with it on this particular picture. And it looks like the back is, is white it's actually silver because it's supposed to be grey so of course as you can see to use the silver glitter gel pen it took ages to fill that in the rest of it didn't take very long it was just doing this background but I really enjoyed it I was just sitting there watching Lanky Box with Jennifer and having a little colour in and it's just I like the, the patterns in this it's really nice it looks like this one particularly looks like something you find in an old house like an old aristocratic mansion I, th I think it's just really nice oh and they were the um, the usual link link shines <laughs> I finally did one in Jade Summer's Dinosaur Colour by Number. Is it? Yeah, it is Jade Summer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I had done that one. I did this one of the two parents and their baby. And this was done with just various markers. Again, I've got a big box of markers downstairs. I've got my bag of touch markers, which I've actually emptied out now because there's not that many in there. I'm going to use the bag for some to put my... Um, colourless blenders in and literally it's literally a mixture of touch new, shuttle art, Crelando, uh, you name it but I enjoyed it it's this, this book is just so sweet I do want to do another one in this one this month I think I just I just love it uh, Nikki Sharma Sea Animal Patterns colour by number and I did this cute one of the seahorses, the octopus and the turtles and again various markers from the various sets so we've got Crelando red and pink here and yellow probably the orange the green I have no idea where the green came from I think that was a touch marker the blue grey at the background that was definitely a touch marker and so on so uh, yeah it was it was a really nice one as you can see I've forgotten to date them from that terrible I am at that. But that was really cute and I hadn't done one in that one for a long time so it was nice to do that one. Uh, Colour by Numbers Animals Jade Summer. This I think is my least favourite of the Colour by Number books by Jade Summer simply because the amount of colours they have. Look at it, it's ridiculous. 
there's like one, two, three, four, five reds there, and then you got these ones down here as well. And it's like what? And like one, two, three, four, five, six oranges. So it's really hard when they're saying do this, do this. So I just use a, a light orange or a dark orange or whatever it is, so I can uh, see what I'm doing. But yes, so I did the giraffe, and yes, I did enjoy doing the giraffe. There's lots of orange on it but it, I think it turned out really good so it's not that bad really I do like the pictures I just uh, not so sure about the colors but you know it's fine it's a good one did a lot of color by numbers today because Jennifer uh, this month because Jennifer was sick for a few days so I was just sitting with her making sure she was um, cool enough because she had a temperature making sure she had enough water because she'll forget to drink uh, making sure she had a bowl if she needed to be sick and so on so I spent a lot of time just sitting with her while she was ill so I just sat and I coloured and it was coloured by number months I think so this is from the Sachin Satch Divas 100 Easy Mandela colour by number I love this pattern I think this pattern's amazing I, I yeah they get they're getting slightly more complicated as it goes on so I like that but this is a really nice and just easy book I do find that with purples and lavenders they're, they tend to run out very quickly with me. I use. I, I think it's. I do love the colour. I do love uh, purple. I am tired though. <sighs> yeah, and I did another one in a hundred best colour by number by. Oh, I did two in this one by the way. By Sun Life Drawing. And um, oh yes, I did this one here of the um, lady with her fan and stuff. And, uh, and again, this is various markers. Like I said most of the time it's going to always be various markers simply because I try to use them up before I start my new set of touch markers which I use every now and again if I need a purple or a green potentially a blue because they're the colors that are going first and usually usually it's the reds um, and I have another set of our teasers and I don't really want to use them either at the moment so I did that one Oh, and that's right, I did this. I did make a mistake on it, or a couple actually. But it looks all right, nothing wrong with it. This is here's a sort of a peachy colour, I think. Seven? No. Nineteen. It's supposed to be pink. I did it the wrong way around. And um, six is supposed to be peach, so I did them the wrong way around. But other than that, it still looks all right. Again, this is a book I like to colour in every month because it's nice and simple and I just like the way the pictures turn out on the black paper. I did one in Spooklets Volume 1 and it was this one and this was a buddy colour with the lovely Chelsea. Hers by the way is absolutely stunning so go watch her video and she puts it up or go onto her Instagram. Hers is amazing. I didn't bother with a background. I'm hopeless at backgrounds. It's something I do need to practice on but if I'm using paint, I find it very difficult because if I get the paints out, Jennifer wants to paint naturally and then she wants me to paint with her and she covers the table with paper and I've got nowhere to do anything. So unfortunately, I'm not doing a lot of painting at the moment and I love painting. I love it. I love using my watercolours and my acrylics, but yeah, never mind. We'll uh, try again. But yeah, this was a really, really fun one. I love these books by Carla Morganio because considering I wasn't a big fan of hers to start with, now I absolutely adore her. Um, still got lots of books I haven't got though, so I might have to get some of them soon. One of the ones I've done in the books to work in was, uh, Man yeah, this one, Mandalas by Jade Summer, coloured by number. Again, this one with 10 million oranges and 10 million greens, but it still, whoops, still turned out all right. Very nice. I do, I like this one. I like, I do like these. I think these just look really nice and I am enjoying colouring it. And that was done with some very cheap felt tip pens from Tesco. Um, if you go into Tesco and go into the station yard, they have their own brand in a blue packaging. There's 50 of them in a pack and that's that set. And they're like four pound. I've got two sets of them. They're the ones I forgot to show in my haul. I'll show them next month. Um, I've got one set at my mum's for if I want to colour at mum's and one set at home for colouring at home but yeah they're absolutely they're really good little markers as well so looking forward to using them again now I'm going to put that somewhere safe because I need that separate because it's the uh, one to finish or working I'm not going to finish it uh, the picture I did from Ava Brown's gnomes is this lovely lady um, 
Again, this was done with various markers from various sets. We've got the touch markers. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got some of the shuttle art markers going on here. And uh, Crelando. So, like I said, it's my big hodgepodge of uh, markers that I'm using up at the moment. Uh, obviously, when me and Jen and that, uh, when we go on holiday in the summer holidays, we're going away twice. I will take the new big set of touch markers and a set of pencils uh, just so that, you know, we can colour. So I just have a chilled week, not a week of running around doing mad stuff. I did one in a Fairy Stories special and did this one. And this one was a buddy colour with the lovely Molly, Molly Newland. Um, and again, she has a channel on YouTube um, and uh, on and she's on Instagram. And we like to do at least one or two buddy colours every month. And we did this one. We, we've buddy coloured from this one before. Um, and yeah, it's Beauty and the Beast. I didn't do a background. I don't think she did one either. Because sometimes you just don't know what to put in the background on some of them. And it's nice to leave it as it is. So, yeah. And again, Crelando touch uh, that was a touch marigold that has now expired it's run out and various colors from various sets really because I like I said I mix them up if I do do a whole picture in one set of colors like the Windsor and Newtons or the Artesas or who 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 which I don't even know where they are there I think they're under the bed I won't use them for a while I'll have to get them ones out and then color by number flowers jade summer again this is one of my 10 to work in and i did this one and i'm getting quite oh, we're on image this is 33 so we are getting through them now and this again was done with the markers from tesco and again because there's always so many oranges in uh, this these books i thought they, that they would be good to use in these books because there are so many different types of orange so you've got like with yellow you've got light yellow medium yellow dark yellow yellow orange light orange medium orange dark orange red orange so so to you know and so they they were again those fiber tip pens from tesco and they look they really look good the red is beautiful it's a, it's a dark one of them is darker and they, they just come out really well so I'm really pleased with them I would definitely be buying them again so when mine start running out one set I'll buy another set and I'll tip those sets that the partial set into Jennifer's box of pens because she's she loves coloring but she always wants me to do it with her she very well wants to do it on her own another 10 book 10 to try and finish or work in is kawaii color by number color questopia this one i should finish this year and i did this one and again this is various markers so we've got a, a very thin nib marker for the dark green crelando green there and then these ones are touch markers crelando is the orange so again it's that whole mix of different types of pens to try and use them up and so I don't have to have hundreds and hundreds of packets of pens open which is what's happening at the moment I'm trying to use them up I've got a set of Arteza pens up here which I tend to use up here uh, if, if on the off chance sometimes I get to colour in bed it usually happens if Paul's out we, we come upstairs we have dinner we come upstairs and we put the TV on in the bedroom and I'll either read or I'll get a book out and colour so that'll probably happen this week so. and I also did one of the bonus pages at the back and I did this one and there's glitter everywhere <laughs> again various uh, markers from various pages the silver on this one or most of the silver not all of it on this one is actually the calm over chaos which is why there's glitter absolutely everywhere because they are very very glittery those pens but I have nearly finished this book it will be sometime this year so I'll be able to do a full flip through soon hopefully anyway <laughs> Then we've got uh, 50 Easy Mandalas, uh, Jade Summer. Again, this is one of the ones I'm trying to work through. Uh, not that one. And that was this one. And this is, again, the this, this is the Calm Over Chaos glitter pens. Can you see how sparkly they are? Even though, you know, it's dried now and 
the amount of sparkle in them is just stunning. Now they are slightly more expensive than Link Shines, but they are worth the price. I think they're lovely. It literally glitters coming off still on my hand. It's, they are amazing. I did complete one book this month. I finally completed Rose Windows by Creative Haven by Joel S. Avrin. I did the last page in the book. I did it as a buddy colour with Molly Newland. And it was this one here. Again, using the Crelando art markers from Lidl's. So just uh, look out. There will be a flip through of the entire colouring book going up soon. I can't believe I finished another colouring book. Um, up until last year, I hadn't completed any. And now I am actually starting to complete books. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. So look out for a flip through of that one. I got out my Pratty Dewan Satch Diva colouring books, uh, two of them today, this month. Uh, Pretty Flower Ceramic Tiles, which is this one, I did the Sunflower. I like this book, I think this book's really pretty, to be honest. And this was done with, I don't remember, I did this up here, I'm sure I did this up here. If I did this up here, I have, it wasn't done with our teasers, I know that, but I'm sure I did it up here. Was it done with the ones from the works? Boldmere. I think it was done with the Boldmere. Yes, Boldmere pens, this would have been. So I did this one up here last time, Paul was out. Very nice. I do like this picture, it was on the 4th of June. I actually remembered to do that one. And the last one is Dessert Ceramic Tiles Colour by Number, again by Pratty Dewan Such Diva. Again, it was done on the 4th of June. And again, it would have been... The, that looks like Quilando Blue, though. That does. I don't know. I, it might not have been. It, it looks like it, but I, got, I, still, think, I still think it was... Um, called their bold mirror from the works this is the thing we got so many pens uh, and i don't make a note of it i really don't I didn't do any pencils this month yeah i'm gonna have to do some pencil work next month i think i have got um hannah carlson's atlantis book out to color in i just got to find the picture i want to do yeah so those are all the pictures i colored in the month of june um, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know which one my favourite is. I want to say, I think, I'm going to say it was the, um, oh, it's between Hannah Lynn, Carla Magana and the, the Dinosaurs Colour by Numbers because it's so cute. But yeah, it was a good colouring month. I really enjoyed myself. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back as soon as I can with some more colouring content for you um, as well as other stuff and I will, I'll see you really soon. So have a good day and happy colouring guys.